I'm trying to explain you how to prepare dissertation and practical component. Now you are student of same four. However, in your third same, you are having a paper of practical which was consisting classroom teaching, seminar and practical component. And your practical component was for 50 marks. In your practical component, there was a topic, legal aid. And while preparing your practical component on the topic of legal aid, you are supposed to mention and state about the scheme of legal aid. It was expected that the student would visit legal aid center, low Adalat and prepare a report and on the basis of your practical experience you are supposed to mention a state about the scheme of legal aid Another topic was practical component that was of case comment. While writing practical component paper on case comment, we were expected to mention the facts of the case the issues before the court, arguments advanced by both the sides, etc. And then the judgment delivered by the court. Why doing so? That is preparing practical component work. Your approach was to Get the, get the practical knowledge and make comment on it. However, in same form, you are expected to prepare dissertation and a project of interdisciplinary approach. Dear friends, it means that in same form, the practical work is divided in two parts. One, dissertation, it is for 100 marks. Out of 100 marks, 80 marks are for dissertation and 20 marks for viva. As far as interdisciplinary project is concerned, it is also for 100 marks, out of which 50 marks are for project and 50 marks for viva. Dear friends, first of all, I will discuss with you certain important aspects of preparing a dissertation. Dear friends, a dissertation 
is a kind of research work it is a step towards phd research means search or find out and examine again certain facts or certain things it is a scientific and systematic re-examination of existing facts and knowledge it indicates or suggests that while preparing dissertation you re-examine the existing fact you are not creating any new facts as far as research is concerned their brains it is of two kinds one doctrinal or traditional research and second non doctrinal or empirical research as far as doctrinal research is concerned certain material is available on the basis of which you have to carry out your research work as far as non doctrinal is concerned it is not only the available material but personal visits to the object of research preparing a questionnaire is very material as far as non doctrinal research is concerned but most of the students especially student of law they prefer doctrinal research so as far as research worry is concerned the first step is formation of problem or selection of a problem or choosing of title of research it is very very important step in the research work the students find it very difficult to formulate the problem for research every time i give one illustration to the student to make them understand how to formulate a problem how to select a problem or how to title the research work and that example or illustration i always give to the student is that of covid 19 pandemic we have experience of this pandemic and notice that it has created great impact on economy and suppose a student intends to make research 
or prepare or prepare a dissertation on the subject that impact of covid 19 pandemic on economy he will find that it has made impact almost all over the world and for a researcher it is very difficult to research or prepare dissertation on the impact on economy because of pandemic so in that situation it is expected that out of the whole world a student would select a particular country even they their friends countries are having many parts big population etc say for example if a student intends to make research or write dissertation on impact of pandemic 19 on indian economy of course a student will find it would find difficult to cover the entire country because india is a big country different i am giving just an illustration to make you understand how to select the problem or formulate the problem so in that case instead of covering the entire country he would select a particular state say for example maharashtra again maharashtra is a big state and therefore out of that state the researcher would select a particular district or a place for example mumbai in that situation that student would formulate the problem that impact of covid 19 pandemic on economy in financial capital of india that is mumbai so his research will be restricted only to the city of mumbai so when you have formulated a problem or you have given a title for your research work then only the student would be in proper position to prepare his dissertation or research work dear friends one has to keep in mind that you were subject or topic of research must be specific and limited to a particular aspect dear friends it gives you an idea about selecting a problem or giving title to your dissertation work or research work i will give you another example to make you understand about selecting the title of your research work 
स्टूडेंट में और फॉर टॉपिक फॉर डिसर्टेशन दट इज रिजर्वेशन पॉलिसी इज नीड ऑफ डे और क्रिटिकल स्टडी ऑफ ऑफेस ऑफ अटेम टू कमिट सुसाइड डियर फ्रेंड्स इन फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दट इज रिजर्वेशन पॉलिसी इज नीड ऑफ डे स्टूडेंट कोड आइडर राइट डिजर्टेशन इन फेवर ऑफ द रिजर्वेशन पॉलिसी और अगेंस्ट द आइडिया ऑफ रिजर्वेशन पॉलिसी इट डिपेंड्स ऑन कलेक्शन ऑफ मटेरियल देन हिज ओन यूज सपोर्टेड बाय द मटेरियल ही हैज कलेक्टेड इन अनदर एग्जाम्पल दट इज क्रिटिकल स्टडी ऑफ ऑफेंस ऑफ अटेम्प टू कमिट सुसाइड सेक्शन थ्री जीरो नाइन ऑफ आई पी सी डिस विद ऑफेंस ऑफ अटेम्प टू कमिट सुसाइड डियर फ्रेंड्स प्लीज कीप इन माइंड this particular aspect or the offense because the court has given ruling in some cases where it is said that or they have held that it is not an offense it is unconstitutional it is violative of article 20 friends section 309 of ipc deals with opens of attempt to commit murder i am sorry commit suicide one cannot curtail or finish his life by committing suicide how you are in one case supreme court had held that it is not an offense because as per article 21 when he have got liberty or right to have life it also means you can finish your life or curtail it by committing suicide however again that judgment was reviewed a reverse and now the position is that attempt to commit suicide is an offense so dear friends it means that a student in that case is expected to deal with the various judgments of the supreme court and other courts and thereafter he has to come to a conclusion of his own and then he can make certain suggestions dear friends the next important step in every research work is formation of hypothesis 
it is very very important aspect of every research and therefore it is necessary to understand or know what is hypothesis how to form hypothesis hypothesis is a proposal intended to explain facts and observations the researcher should state in clear terms his hypothesis a hypothesis is the tentative assumption made in order to draw out and test its logical consequences a hypothesis may be in a guess imaginative ideas which become the basis for action or investigation it should be specific and limited to the piece of research in hand because it has to be tested while preparing dissertation or research work dear friends hypothesis helps us in delimitating the area of research and keep us on right track it doesn't allow to go out of track then the next important stage in the research work is testing of hypothesis the hypothesis testing ultimately results in either accepting the hypothesis or rejecting it or making amendment it amendment in it just before some time we have seen the example of problem that is reservations or reservation policy is need of the day and if you are writing if you are writing dissertation on this topic and making research work you may accept it stating that it is need of the day or you may reject it stating that reservations are not necessary today or you may suggest some amendment in the policy of the reservation dear friends this example would give an idea to you whether to accept the hypothesis or reject or make amendment made in it i always tell the students that judgment of a judge is good example of research work or dissertation work in every judgment up to stating the case of the prosecution or the plaintiff as the case may be judge formulates 
points for consideration or issues for consideration like formation of hypothesis and thereafter after dealing with the material and evidence on record either he accept the case of the prosecution or the plaintiff or reject it or sometimes judge may in judgment the judge make some observation in respect of that particular particular case before him or in his hand dear friends another important aspect of research is disclosing source of material and it can be done by disclosing it by way of footnotes you are supposed to mention in the footnotes from what book from which book from which article you have got that material while doing so you are supposed to mention the name of the book page of the book or sometimes even in the para edition edition of the book year of the edition etc so that it may give you give you or the reader clear idea about source of your material from here you have collected this source or material so keep in mind always give footnotes or mention footnotes properly in your dissertation work and thereafter you have to arrive at certain conclusions on the basis of the material collected you during the course of your investigation research work and lastly you are supposed to make suggestion dear friends now i would like to tell you in brief about the interdisciplinary project many times it is found that the students are not in position to understand what does it mean what does it mean by interdisciplinary project and therefore it is my it is my endeavor to explain you what is meaning of interdisciplinary project and how to make it or prepare it it is different than practical component you have prepared in third sem and also different than the dissertation or research work it is a study of interdisciplinary approach it is a study of two or more subjects or field it is not a study of one field only but it is subject of two or more more fields or more subjects and therefore students would have choice to select the topics for the project from the topics listed in the syllabus of group opted by them which will have 
इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच आफ्टर गिविंग सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ एज ग्रुप एट लास्ट अबाउट एट डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स हैव बीन गिवेन इन एज ग्रुप आउट ऑफ विच यू आर एक्सपेक्टेड और यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू सिलेक्ट वन फॉर यूर इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच फॉर एग्जाम्पल ग्रुप नंबर वन इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल लॉ एंड इन दैट ग्रुप वन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट फॉर इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच इज रोल ऑफ सिविल सोसाइटी इन गवर्नेंस इन द इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ए कंट्री हियर स्टूडेंट इज फ्रॉम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल लॉ को बट ही इज रिक्वायर्ड टू स्टडी सोशल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ए कंट्री ऑल्सो A student is expected to study the role of a civil society also while preparing his interdisciplinary project. It indicates or suggests that it is study of two or more field or two or more subjects. If you are a student of group two. that is business law in which one of the topic for interdisciplinary project is securities laws and criminal jurisprudence here a student of this group is required to study security laws and at the same time some as aspects of criminal jurisprudence jurisprudence concerning his topic of interdisciplinary approach if you are student of group 3 that is intellectual property there is a topic human right perspective of intellectual property your group is intellectual property human rights is not your group but your approach while preparing interdisciplinary project should concern and deal with human rights perspective also you have to connect these two subjects interlink these two subjects if you are student of group 4 that is human rights there is topic for interdisciplinary project criminal trials and human rights and another topic is poverty and population we say is human rights it means that if a student has obtained for criminal trials and human rights he may discuss about the criminal trials concerning the human rights for example in criminal law an accused is brought to the court 
with police escort. Sometimes we will find in find that accused are brought to the court with handcuffing. But when he is produced before the court, he cannot produce in the same condition condition that is while handcuffing because it is violation of his human rights. It is the duty of the court to protect the human rights of a person, of an accused. So here again a student is expected or connecting the topic of human rights with some other field or other subject that is criminal trials. In case of poverty and pop population, which is human rights, a student is expected to mention in his, his project in what way human rights are violated or protected of a person suffering from poverty or because of po population. What I would like to tell you that while preparing interdisciplinary project you are supposed to interlink or combine one or two subjects and prepare your interdisciplinary project. Another group is group 5 that is criminal law. In this group there is a topic for interdisciplinary project is law of defamation and freedom of speech. Here, dear friends, law of defamation or defamation is an offense made punishable under section 500 of IPC. But at the same time, you are also dealing with freedom of speech provided under article 19A, 191A of the Indian Constitution, which provides that you have got right or freedom to express yourself. But while enjoying this right, you cannot defame another person. You cannot defame the dignity of another person. In short, though you have got right of speech, a freedom of speech, you cannot defame another person. Here you have linked your topic of defamation with the freedom of speech, which is subject of constitutional law. Another topic for interdisciplinary work from group 5 is ethical issues and medical profession. Dear friends, as per article 191G, it is freedom of a person to practice any profession of his choice. But at the same time, he has to observe or comply with the ethical issues, mainly because he has got right to carry on his, carry on profession or practice any profession of his choice, he cannot overlook the ethical issues, which is an offense. As you know that 
in penal law medical negligence is an offense mal practice is in medicine is also an offense so here also you are interconnecting study of two subjects and last book is group 6 environmental law and one of the topic for interdisciplinary is environment and constitutional perspectives dear friends environment is the subject of this group that is group 6 but here you are supposed to link your study with constitutional perspectives and while doing so a student is expected to deal with article 21 which also includes some aspects of environment clean air clean water etc then article 47 which provides for improve public health and very importantly article 48a which specifically deals with protection and improvement of environment and safeguarding forest and wildlife so these these articles deals with the environment while preparing your work you are dealing with two subjects one or two branch two branches one environment and second constitutional law in the same group that is group 6 there is another topic for your interdisciplinary approach is criminal jurisprudence and environment safeguards under this topic also a student is expected to deal with Article forty eight a, providing for protection and improvement of environment and safeguarding forest and wildlife. Under this topic also, you may refer to these articles. Then, subject matter. of your topic and then of course criminal jurisprudence if anybody spoils the current made mean for drinking water cutting the trees in forest destruction of environment is an offense so here also again you are dealing with your topic of environment safeguards and connecting it or linking it with another topic or field so or subject that is criminal jurisprudence so dear friends after explaining few topics given in your syllabus to prepare project of interdisciplinary i hope that you might have understood at least to some extent how to prepare interdisciplinary project 
you have to link two fields or two topics and then prepare your work dear friends with these words i am sure that my big and heavier will help you in preparing your dissertation work and interdisciplinary interdisciplinary project thank you very much